Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Captain CA on the Fly, where you get plenty of fishing tip information, yet I give you other information you may not want to know. <laughs> so stand by, I'm going to give you a big speckled trout tip, and this is going to be the type of tip that's a three-part tip. I guarantee you, you will catch more fish, so stay tuned. But before we get to that, I feel obligated to tell you what's going on and where I'm going to be over the next week or so. First thing you need to know, number one, we're going to do an Instagram Live Saturday, March 9th. That's tomorrow, about 7 p.m. You can ask me anything. I mean, rod action stuff, favorite lures, favorite places to fish, uh, what's, what's my favorite, you know, boat at Hell's Bay, whatever. What I, what I like to put in my, uh, in, in my Yeti cup. That's always a good question. Two, I will be at Marine Supply on Thursday, March 14th. I am teaming up with Captain Mike Anderson of The Real Animals. We're going to be doing everything you, you can imagine over there. Seminars, answering questions about our shows, uh, showing off some of the new tackle from both of our partners. So if you want to catch up to both him and I, the Twin Towers, you need to come over to Marine Supply over there in Polk County and get with us because we're going to be there from, I think, 2 o'clock in the afternoon to probably 6, 7, 8 o'clock at night. So get there after work on Thursday and hook up with us. Next spot that I'm going to be at. That spot is going to be Sodium Fishing on State Road 44 and Crystal River. So I want to see all our Citrus County fans, all of our Levy and Marion County fans, and our Hernando County fans for Flats class. I'm going to be there with John and Casey at Sodium, and we're going to be touting some of the new custom baits that I'm coming out with. And we're also going to be talking fishing tips about springtime fishing for redfish, snook, triple tail. If you've got any questions about fishing Citrus County, that's the place to be. And there's going to be plenty of local guides there to answer a lot more questions than even I can answer. They usually feed everybody. It's a big outing. You're going to want to come to Sodium. It is the destination tackle store in this part of the world here on the west coast of Florida. So if you haven't discovered sodium fishing, you need to drop by Friday, March 15th and see me and meet these guys. Okay, now let's get over here and do this fishing tip because I wanna show you exactly what's gonna put big trout in your boat. Stand by guys. All right, here's tip number one out of the top three tips that I'm gonna give you today to catch big gator trout. I'm going to make a reference card, guys, that's going to be specific to trout. This is my original color choice selector from General Conditions, and on the back, I have put my law thirds and my retrieve disciplines. This is available right now on my website. But the new reference card will be just specific for speckled trout, and it's going to be something that you're going to want to try to get a hold of. All right, let's get back to business here for big gator trout. Springtime, number one tip you need to know to catch more trout is you need to fish big baits. If you wanna cull through all the ankle biting size trout, the school size trout, you're gonna to have to use big baits. That's fewer opportunities to catch the little ones and a lot more opportunities to catch the big ones. One of my all time favorites would have to be the Paul Brown Fat Boy. This is a big bait that suspends. It's got a big eye, it's a great target. This is a night glow chartreuse color, one of my faves, and does a fantastic job of, of really getting the attention of the gator sized trout. Another staple bait that you should be throwing is the Miradine. This is the 27 MR. If there's a lot of puffer fish on the flat or things that might take this one out of the picture, this hard bait right here accomplishes the same mission. It really does. This is a bone color uh, with a cocoa back and a cocoa belly. We call it the dude. You can only imagine why we call it the dude. It looks a little bit like a white Russian. It's a custom color, it's available on my website, but this thing does a great job of holding up to pinfish and all the, the toothy critters on the flats like the puffer, and does a, does a good job whether you're fishing Florida waters or Texas waters. It's a suspending bait, casts like a bullet. And uh, overall, it's a little bit bigger profile than the, the standard 17MR and does a, a good job of, again, catching the larger trout. And then lastly, you've got to have a surface walker. Uh, pink or any dark belly, like an orange belly like we have in the Low Country Boil, or 
or even if you're throwing the little Wayne, which has a black belly, these are the, the, the types of top waters, that top dog junior size or even the full top dog size, that's really going to get the attention of big trout, especially if you're fishing just a tad deeper uh, where you might want to use these in shallow water, you'll want to use this one if you're fishing three to four feet of water because it will call them off the bottom. But that's the first part of our three-part tip. Now stand by for the next part of the tip. Part two of your big gator size trout fishing tip. And that is you have to fish around the big moons. You just have to. If you're going to fish in March and April, focus around the bigger moons. Those bigger moons produce the best fish. Why? It's the spawn. So the fish are going to be set up on shallow flats close to deep water and structure where bait is alive and well. And that happens around the bigger moons. So if you want to tangle with some really big fish when they're hungry with those big baits that I just showed you, you have to fish around the bigger moons. All right, part three of this big gator size speckled trout fishing tip. And this is only a few of the tips that are on my reference card coming up. But the third part, you gotta, you gotta get out of that boat, guys. You got to wade fish. Wade fishing produces big fish. Allows you to get close, lower your profile, move slower, understand the depth of the water a lot better. I'm talking shallow water. I'm not talking get out in deep water. I'm talking about fishing knee deep water. But if you get out and wade fish, especially on the brighter days where it really matters, you're going to catch larger trout, period. And you don't have to make some crazy long cast. I'm telling you, you're going to catch real good fish. So in summary, big baits, fish around the big moons, and then lower your big profile. That's what you want to do. You want to wade fish. Those three, those three little tips will put a lot bigger trout in your boat this spring. Hope this little tip helps you. And subscribe, please subscribe to Flats Class YouTube. We want to get more and more content out there every few days, and we can't do it unless you guys love this stuff. Captain C.A. Richardson checking out from another episode of Captain C.A. on the fly. Take care, y'all.